it's me, Case, back from the video, and tonight's video is going to be a little sad for all of you, and for me too, because it's, so, something happened last night with Chucky, um, and I have to clean out his cage, his entire cage, so let me tell you the full, the full story. So last night, I went to go feed my hamsters, and I usually, uh, my hamsters come out to see what I'm doing, because I'm like, disturbing their sleep while I'm trying to be quiet, um, while trying to feed them, and I usually scatter feed them if I don't have, like, enough, like, food, um, but usually scatter feed them and then give them food at the so just in case their like bowl runs out of food um then I would like scatter feed them well before I feed them okay but anyways uh so squiggles comes out except for Chucky that that's like unusual for him to do that because he never well he comes out whenever I open his cage um, well, it's like the top, and he usually comes out, and, um, he didn't come out, so I'm like, hmm, he's probably sleeping, because all hamsters sleep in different ways, so, I'm like, fine with it, and then, i like, and, and so I just, like, close the lid, well, I scatter feed them and then give them their food before I went to bed and then the next morning um I like went to go feed them well I went to go feed them and I went to go check up on Chucky cause he never he never um squiggles was up again and I'm like hmm that's a little off cause Chucky usually comes out at that time, and, um, well, he's looking for food, of course, um, but he was an older hamster, because he was, like, slower at eating, and he was a little nippier, like, tiny, a bit aggressive, a tiny bit, a tiny bit aggressive, more than squiggles. Even though Squiggles uh, bit me once and I accidentally threw him, but he's fine. Um, but, so I like feel under his cage, because I like feel under his cage sometimes to see if he's still there or not. Like, I can feel his body warmth on the bottom wherever he's sleeping. And I didn't feel anything, and so I like start worrying, because I wonder if he escaped or not. So I start looking on my dresser, and just so you know, that purple cup is, that's, that's where his cage was, and so I like, put his cage on my bed, and I'm like, start looking around, all of my stuff, the lights, and I like, look under everything, and everything, especially my bed, cause it's like, full of stuff. And, and then I start worrying because I'm like, where is my hamster? And it like, took me a few minutes to find him, but after I did find him, I almost had a panic attack because I, I found his little body. Like, it looked like he was sleeping, but he was not. And so I'm like terrified to touch him just in case he was sleeping. Um, but I like fell on the floor and start crying really hard. And this was like this morning that I found out. And um, I like stare at his tiny face, and they weren't. There was no whiskers twitching. He wasn't torpor. Um, if you don't know what torpor is, um, it's kind of like hibernation for the hamster, but different, like way different, but, 
Um, and then I start like crying really hard that I couldn't like breathe because crying makes you kind of like makes your nose stuff up. And I could barely breathe, so I'm like breathing out of my mouth now. And then I like ran to my dad and said, Chuck, he's not breathing, he's not moving. And then he came into my room um, and he picked him up slowly. And I realized that he passed away in his sleep. So last night he wasn't alive because he was. He was. Well, he passed away before I even knew it. And I feel like. I mean, the year just started and it's February, so. I feel like he was already two years old when I first got him. And. It was his last year in 2023, so, <sighs> and I cried really hard when my dad told me that he, he had died in his sleep, and that made me cry so hard that, um, that, uh, like, I don't know how to say it, but, I was crying and I told him to like hand him to me please so I could hold him for the very last time and his body was so stiff and cold. Just so you know, if your hamster goes into torpor, it's different than like passing away because if your hamster is stiff and cold, like really cold and like stiff, stiff, that means they passed away like Chucky did today, well, last night. Um, but if your hamster goes into torpor, uh, that means they're still alive, but like slowly breathing and they cool their body down a little bit, not too much. And they like slowly breathe. And if your hamster, if your hamster looks dead while it's in torpor, it's not unless you are starving them or like, or like not act like letting them drink or eat then they might pass away if you're not letting them do any of those things but um it's way different than passing away because if, if your hamster's in torpor you can look at look at your hamster and pick it up slowly and you can watch them for a very long period until they like like you can you can hold it, um, and then they start uh, twitching their whiskers, and that means that they're still alive. And you can also listen if they're breathing or not. Well, not listen, but like, uh, put your finger on their on their body to see if they're still warm or not. But I knew that Chucky was older than the other hamsters and I really wanted to give him a big cage earlier but I didn't have well bin cages can be expensive so I didn't have time to do that and now I'm cleaning out his cage his whole cage and I might give uh, his his hideout to squibbles because um well he's not using it anymore well chucky isn't doing anything well i don't know but but i'm very sad and i want to print out a picture of chucky and squibbles in their old cage together even though they're not supposed to be again together and I was stupid back then and yeah but uh I don't know why I put them together but um but they got separated after that um and then um I have this one photo that I took on my mom's phone so she might print it out at her work <clears throat> and then we might buy a, f a tiny frame to like pull on my wall so yeah 
I might not be posting in a while because I don't feel like it and uh yeah but I will post an update about Squiggle's uh bin cage because my mom told me that uh my dad's gonna get my dad's gonna get paid next Friday so we might go Walmart shopping to get a clear big big bin cage for him <coughs> sorry but I'll give you guys an update about Squiggles' bin cage and <coughs> um but please like and subscribe that will really help me out through this terrible time right now and I realize um and this was today when we buried him so I'm cleaning his cage out now so but we're gonna keep the cage still just in case we need it for travels like if I or like if I get another hamster somehow uh, probably not cuz I don't want to go through that again um, but if you want a hamster then go watch Victoria Rachel's channel cuz I learned a lot from her and uh, yeah and but I thought my hamster was in torpor instead of like but uh, I watched one of her videos about <coughs> about uh, I don't know but I learned that when your hamster dies um, it's like take some process to stiffen up for them to like while they're while they're dead um it takes two hours to stiffen up for their tiny body so i never knew that until now even though i should have um but yeah it's a really sad time for me but uh just remember, I'm not quitting YouTube, and so, just remember, um, I'm going to be posting some videos, but not at this moment, because, yeah. But, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!